Hi, it's Sable Say A Lot here. Ready to harvest my green peppers early, or what remains of my green pepper tree. I did a harvest just a couple of days ago, um, but I wanted to give these green peppers as much time as I could, but with the weather being what it is, um, they don't really like temperatures under 50 degrees, and then 40 degrees, um, they will basically not survive. Uh, they may survive, but they probably won't be good to eat. So, let me get the remainder of these peppers. I almost knocked over one of my plants. Uh, peppers off the tree. I can't believe that it's still even trying to bloom. I'm going to turn it around so you can see that it still has flowers. And it's this plant is so hardy, it's still trying to grow. I've learned how to make a hellacious soil. Um, and I feed my plants. I take good care of them and they take good care of me. And since I do have two pepper plants, my tables are thinned out now because I've been harvesting. There's a couple on this that I grew off of the larger one. And it already produced uh, a few peppers, but they need to be at least two inches. So I am going to leave the little bitty ones on there just to see if they survive and make it through. So this will be an experiment for me to see how hardy they really actually are. But I did get these little bitties off. So it is what it is. One thing I wanted to show is uh, the green pepper plant. It does have um, a couple of little bitties still left on the plant. But what I really wanted to show, and this was an experiment for me, I never really uh, tried to grow two plants together. But green onions really do grow well uh, inside a container with the sweet potato, with the uh, green peppers. Look at that. So I'm going to check to see exactly um, how cold tolerant they are. And then I'll make a decision on whether or not I want to also harvest them today or not. So I just wanted to show the final harvest on the green peppers. There was still one more uh, left on the tree, and it was actually the biggest one. So I'm glad I did finally identify it. And this is the green pepper that I picked yesterday, along with uh, the tomatoes I picked um, about two days ago, not yesterday. So there we are. Some green peppers for however long it takes me to eat them. So I'll have to do a video on how to freeze not only green peppers, but also tomatoes. Okay, so I'm back inside, out of that sprinkling weather. I know I looked a hot mess out there. It's kind of bad, it's really cold too, so uh, the sweater did help, but I'm glad to be back in the house. and. What I'm going to talk to you about now is something that's really important because you don't want to keep buying seeds every single year when you can harvest your own. And with green peppers, it's especially easy. So I'm going to show you two methods, how to get the seeds from a mature plant and then how to get the seeds from an immature plant. But one thing that I do want to encourage everyone to do is to start saving all of your glass jars, no matter how small or how large they are, because they're very useful. And I'm gonna be transferring over some of these seeds to glass jars, but that's what I keep my seeds in after I have harvested the seeds. And this is a yellow pepper seeds from last year. And I'm not sure, these are the orange seeds. It's in a closed container, but it's plastic. And then this is one from regular green peppers. So I'll be planting more uh, peppers and giving away seeds next year. Um, so it's good to have the jars. Uh, not only that, you can also keep other items um, fresher, longer. Hold on. 
these walnuts are almost gone, but um, when I buy the walnuts, you get them in a plastic bag. I just put them in a glass jar. They last way longer. And these are some Spanish peanuts. My daughter went to some type of farm or somewhere, and we hadn't had regular Spanish peanuts in forever. So she bought a bag and she gave me some. I had it in a plastic bag when I ate them down um, far enough to... Uh, put them in this little jar so I just kind of moved them into this little jar to make sure they stay fresher longer because I only eat a couple a day. Okay so now we're going to go ahead and harvest um, the seeds from a mature green pepper and then from oh you can't even see it let me bring the camera in. Please bear with me while I make this slight adjustment. We're getting there. This is um, one that was more mature. And they're actually yellow. This still had a little green on it because this is like from about my um, third of third harvest off the tree and it's real simple when they're mature you can just kind of core them out you also have the option of leaving it on the core because it still feeds the plant but, but since they're mature you can like shake the rest out to the paper towel and just you could use a knife but I don't want to damage the seeds at all so I just kind of like peel it peel them off and you end up with a ton of seeds you really can't even use them all the following year but I believe that they should last at least two years Okay, so um, so look at all these seeds. I have to admit I'm not the best with the camera yet, but I'm getting better um, as I make my video. So please bear with me while I grow and grow with me. If you can, start you a YouTube channel. So I got most of the seeds off. There are still some stuck in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set these out um, for like a couple of days to dry, maybe maybe a week. And then I'll put them in an envelope um, and let them dry out another two weeks before I put them in a jar for storage. If I can get a little closer, there's a little speck on there that doesn't belong. It's part of the top of the... Anyway, that's a lot of seeds. And you only need um, one seed to grow a green pepper. But usually I'll put two into the hole where I'm growing it. And then if I grow two, then I'll just separate them. But it gives you a little bit better success rate. Okay, so the second way on an immature plant is like this one. is to cut down maybe uh, about three-fourths of an inch. See all those seeds in there? And you just set this uh, on a paper towel on a window seal because it's mature, but leaving it connected to the green pepper, it'll still feed the seed formation. These other little seeds um, that are left on the other end, uh, you can try and let them grow out and see if they'll still produce. Um, but they may not, but who knows? That might be another experiment I can do. Because it is a trial and error. You know, you learn things as you go each year. I learned something new. And this is just my final harvest. Even though they're small, at least I'm not going to let them get weather damaged. I'll still have them to eat. So thank you for joining me uh, on Sabo Say A Lot. For my green pepper harvest. 
I love and appreciate each and every one of you for coming to my channel and viewing my content. Uh, it really means a lot to me um, to have your support. And I wish everyone a wonderful rest of the year and uh, happy days to come. And I hope you'll join me as a gardener and producing your own food and eating uh, food that you know where it came from without any modification. So until next time, love, peace, and prayer. Bye now.